All right, guys, back with another video. Today, I want to talk with you about Spark Tycoon, this phenomenal Layer 2 game that's taking Upland by storm. I've been playing Spark Tycoon since December 23rd. It's now January 19th, so just about a month. I wanted to take you through it. Uh, but basically, it's a very cool way to take advantage or bring, I should say, bring utility to properties in Upland. And let me explain that. So I got started because I went on Spark Exchange. I was just checking out my rent, the rental property or the Spark rental uh, cost. And I noticed this Spark Tycoon icons or, or pull down. That was a new thing on their site. So I checked it out. And it's this game that they developed uh, where you uh, capture what they call loot boxes loop boxes oh, sorry loot boxes l-o-o-t boxes as you're treasure hunting or i should say as you're sending doing paid sends and upland okay you have a 75 percent chance of getting a loot box and in that loot box can contain either lumber or or energy resources now it can contain up to two lumber or ore and up to one energy currently now these things are always changing so you want to make sure that your uh, part of the Upix Spark Exchange Discord and check out the Spark Tycoon uh, channel in that Discord to keep up on what's going on. All right, this is the this is a, an ever developing game. So the idea is, as you're in Upland and you're either treasure hunting or just doing paid sends, like if you have a friend that you want to do paid sends to each other, uh, so you can offset the costs. You do your paid send, and every time you do a paid send, you're going to capture one of these loot boxes okay um, and if we take a look at the resource log here this is my resource log from today you can see here I captured uh, let's see yeah here's loot found two two ore okay here's another one lumber one lumber here's a ore here's an energy so these are all loots as I was treasure hunting and doing paid sends I was getting these loot boxes that contains this resource and then I, I would go to my dashboard here and those would tally up here now currently you're only allowed 80 loot boxes per day okay there's a 75% chance when you do a paid send that you're going to get a loot box that's the current uh, probability now um, Upix Spark Exchange, they are going to be nerfing this a bit. Uh, my understanding is that they're going to start to reduce the max you, of loot box you can connect, collect per day by 10 every week until they get to 30. Okay, so right now it's 80, max is 80, so next week it'll be 70, week after that 60, until we get to 30 loot boxes per day. Okay, the idea is they, wanna, they wanted to have it high at first to get the game going, and then they wanted to level it out so that... People uh, are more in, are, are have, have more incentive to build nodes, and we'll talk about nodes in a second. Okay, so that's how you one way you can obtain uh, these resources. Now, once you've obtained these resources, you use them to you can either sell them on the marketplace here. Okay, and you can see currently ore is going for 55 upix, lumber is going for 61 upix, and if I take a look at energy, it's going for about 300 upix each energy. People are buying and selling these all the time. It's a pretty active market. So you can either sell them, or what you can do is you can build nodes. Now, if you take a look at, uh, let's see, let's just take a look at one of my, my energy cities. So you can see I have three nodes here. This was my first node. This is actually my, my home address in uh, Beverly Woods in California. The first thing I did was I built three energy um, nodes okay now to build a node it's going to cost you a thousand upix per slot so each one of these slots cost a thousand upix and then let's see don't should take you through this real quickly if i wanted to build a node you can see here it would cost me for a lumber it's going to for a lumber mill it's going to cost 60 uh, lumber 20 ore and 20 energy for a ore mine it's going to cost 20 60 and 20 and for a wood windmill which actually generates energy the most uh, rare of current resources it's 80 80 and 20 so you need to accumulate these amount of resources so that you can build a node and then once you build a node okay each energy node let me just go back to my each energy node will produce one energy per day okay each lumber node will produce 
four lumber per day and each ore node will produce four ore per day. Those are the current numbers, all right? So you could see this is a self-generating system. So as you build up nodes, you start to produce enough to build more nodes. So now currently I've got seven energy no um, windmills. I've got three lumber mills and I've got three ore, right? So I'll produce seven energy per day, 12 lumber per day, and 12 ore per day. So on top of my treasure hunting, I can generally build one node per day right now. Now, when I first started, it was like one node every few days, but I built this up and now I've only put a thousand, sorry, 8,000 upics into this. This is all built from accumulating uh, resources from treasure hunting and selling off some of my resources to, uh, to get upics to uh, to you know to pay for the slots because like I said each one of these slots cost you a thousand upex okay but also what I what was really cool is because I got in early when prices of these commodities were very high I was able to generate enough upex to fund the um, spark rental to build two medium showrooms it's about 42,000 upex I used to build two medium showrooms that's pretty cool so that came out of basically thin air of just treasure hunting, getting loot boxes, building nodes, and selling off resources. So as you can see, there's a lot of dynamics to this game. And it's very early on. It's very exciting. And actually a number of people that I've seen have said that they have gotten back into treasure hunting because of Spark uh, Tycoon. It's basically uh, ignited an interest again. And if you can think about, if you think about this, as you build out these nodes, like for example, this node here, let's take a look at one of my nodes on this node here. This is uh, 9320 Monty Drive. This is in Beverlywood. This is it's a townhouse in Beverlywood, um, Los Angeles. I've got an energy node, I've got a lumber node, and I've got a uh, ore node on that. So that brings utility and value to this upland property and building, right? Because now people are buying these um, these properties that have these builds because what happens is when you sell a property that has a Spark Tycoon node on it, that node gets transferred to the new owner so it becomes part of the property which is really what I think is the coolest thing about Spark Tycoon and if you take a look at my uh, this is my spreadsheet that I use you're gonna, you really should use a spreadsheet um, you can see I've only invested 8,000 upex. Okay, everything here has been like organically generated now, if you look at this property, this is the property, 9320 Monty Drive, okay? At current, upex, at current market value of these resources, the value of each of these nodes is here. So it's 16, uh, 2 upex, 11, 8 upex, and 11, 8 upex. The total value, okay, with the, the mint price property value and the cost of the structure is now 95,000 upex, Okay. I could sell this property, which I paid 42k for, and put 13k into um, to build a property. Actually, I didn't because I used my own spark to do it, so I really didn't put any additional into it. But I could sell this now, probably for about 95 to 100 thousand upix, okay? Because people want to get into the game and have an existing node that's generating revenue. If you take a look at this right now at current prices, this property is generating 23,000 upix per month. Now, the up the upland earnings for this property is 500 upix per month. Think about that. Upix is giving me 500 upix per month by adding these. Now I invested, you know, this costs me time and energy to put these nodes in these three nodes into this property. But now this property is generating over 23,000 upix per month. That's utility, right? And that's the value. Like, look at this one, my my Cresta Drive, which is my actually this one here, which is a this is a medium showroom that I have in in the Bronx. I put three energy nodes in there, two lumber nodes, and a, an ore node. This property is now worth almost three hundred thousand, and it's generating fifty five, almost fifty six thousand upix per month in resources. Okay, so that's the equivalent value of the resources that it's generating. That makes it, it's pretty, I mean, this is, this is bringing utility 
to upland properties and upland um, buildings, a reason to build. And you're starting to see, if you go on Spark Exchange, okay, if you take a look at the um, Spark Rental live listings, there are a lot of people building, okay, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to build out nodes to increase the value so that they can, you know, they get, they can recoup their, a lot of their costs of the property. So there's really a twofold, um, opportunity here right with spark tycoon in my estimation and again this is very early and the game is changing so this may change but as current as film making this video the two potential areas of earning are one by recovering loot boxes whilst doing paid sends and upland and selling those for upics which i think is a little short-sighted because i think the second one building nodes and increasing the property value of your upland properties that to me is the main game changer of this game all right uh so let's see if there's anything else here so we talk oh they have a resource log here where it shows you how many uh you know what you've collected so if you want to check things out and the stash on uh the up spark exchange discord has been really really supportive the whole team has been supportive what's really cool about this game is that they're listening to the community um there's great discussions about you know how it should evolve to keep the economy healthy okay um and it's to me it's one of the best things that's happened to Upland, in my in my opinion. I don't know any other Layer 2 game that's as good as this. And I've looked at them all. Okay. So, anyway. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description to Upix Spark Exchange website and also to their Discord. I want to... I'm doing this because I want to get help get more people into this game. So, the more people are into this game, the healthier the economy is going to be. Um, I'm very excited about it. Like I said, I've only put in 8,000 Upix. Where's my thing here? 8,000 Upix. I'm thinking about maybe investing some more Upix and starting to build out more nodes. Um, but uh, you can see here, right now, with what I own currently, okay, I'm going I'm to generate, on based on current market, enough resources if I wanted to sell them off. And this is after the 5% that you got to pay when you sell them, okay, on the marketplace. 114,000 upics per month I could generate from these four properties. This is just another one that I'm going to probably be developing, but from these four properties, 100, almost 115,000 upics per month that they're generating. Think about that. Is it always going to be like this? I hope so. The game's going to change. This is not financial advice. You know, make your own decisions, do your own research. There's some great people on that Discord that can help you. If you have questions and you might want to check that out so anyway that's spark tycoon um very excited about it if you have any questions leave them in the comments or you can check out my discord channel as well i'll put a link in the description there and hope this was helpful guys hit that like button if you like what you saw don't forget to get to subscribe to the channel for more upland content have a great day and best of luck in spark tycoon take care